Hello, good people of God. It's Meaningful 5 Minutes with Mommy Ruth. Together, we have ascertained the knowledge of the fact that salvation through Jesus Christ is the focus of Christianity. And we have told ourselves some of the things to expect, the challenges, the trials, the tests to expect when we are trying to stay focused, to, to stay in line with God's plan for our lives. We told ourselves that we can be falsely accused. We told ourselves that we can be envious. We can be enticed by sin, by the, 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 the fast lane lifestyle of the people around us. We can also be provoked for being of God and of course we can be tempted to say we are tired impatience can set in but we encourage ourselves that God makes everything beautiful in his own time and because no temptation has overtaken people in the past it is not going to overtake us and that we should stay focused we should stay glued because we are tested for testimonies hallelujah and so in slot 68 we'll be telling ourselves on some of the telling ourselves some of the things that we should do to keep our integrity hallelujah we have as main passage proverbs chapter 11 verse 3 which tells us that a man's integrity guides him what is integrity integrity is doing the right thing even when others are doing the wrong thing integrity is doing the right thing even when it does not look profitable integrity is doing the right thing even when no other person is noticing hallelujah and the first thing to do to keep your integrity is to copy to emulate to look at the example of bible characters we have the example of abraham we have the example of joseph of daniel and of our role model jesus we also have exemplary women in the bible we have hannah we have sarah we have we have anna we have tabitha these are people who had their challenges these are people who had their flaws their weaknesses but they did not give up they stayed focused they stayed true to the word that they had received from God and at the end of the day it paid off so if it paid off for them then it will definitely pay off for us don't relent don't lose hope don't continue don't begin to bend don't begin to swiver don't begin to waver because others are doing the wrong thing stay true to the right thing and it will definitely pay off hallelujah another thing that we can do to keep our integrity is to remember the fact that the battle is not us but the battle is the Lord. We are told in Second Chronicles, verse twenty, uh, chapter twenty, verse fifteen, and First Samuel seventeen, verse forty-seven, that the battle is not us, but the Lord. And so, if the battle is the Lord's, we are sure of victory, because God never fights and loses. If the battle is the Lord's, then it means that those who are for us are more than those who are against us. And if the battle is the Lord's, we have to understand that there is nothing new under the sun. There is nothing that God has never seen before. He is all knowing. He is all present, and He is almighty. And so we should rest assured that we will definitely overcome. Hallelujah. Another thing that we can do to keep our integrity is to avoid compromising situations, to avoid compromising discussions or compromising people or compromising places. Hallelujah. We are told in John chapter 14 verse 15 that if you love me, you will keep my commandments. And that keeping the commandments means you have to make a conscious effort to move away from people who want you to derail, to move away from people, from places, to move away from discussions, to move away from situations. Don't tell yourself, I will go there and I will resist. You know that you have a weakness for alcohol and you find yourself in a bar with people who are drinking alcohol. If God is not on your side, my brother, my sister, before you know what is happening, you will compromise. You have a weakness for women and then you keep find, surrounding yourself with people who are into multiple women at a time. My brother, my sister, we should not show strength in such situations. We should avoid such situations. We should run away from, the Bible says flee, flee from temptation, resist the devil and he will flee from you. So don't resist the devil by going to a bar or a, 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 a beer parlor when you have a weakness for alcohol. My brother, my sister, we don't have to compromise. We have to stay focused. We have to do everything possible to keep our integrity, to do the right thing, even when no one is saying anything. Hallelujah. Another thing that we have to do to keep our integrity is to be consistent. We should not be red hot for Jesus today and dead cold for Jesus tomorrow. We need to be consistent. We need to be we need to be steady we should not be undulating we should not we should be like daniel in chapter 6 verse 10 in daniel chapter 6 verse 10 we are told even when the decree had been passed daniel did what he was in the habit of doing he continued to pray morning noon and night hallelujah there is need for us to be consistent because consistency will bring efficient results. Hallelujah. And the last but not the least is the fact that we need to focus on God's reward. We should take our eyes off the temporary reward that man can give us. Because man can only reward us to the, to the magnitude of his ability. Man's reward is limited. We are told in Galatians chapter 6 from verse 7 to 9. God cannot be mocked. Whatever a man sows, that shall he reap. The evil that they are sowing, they will definitely reap. And you, the good that you are trying to sow, you will definitely reap. And we are also told in that Galatians chapter 6 verse 9, that we should not be weary of doing good. Continue to stay 
be upright even when no one is noticing because that your uprightness that your integrity will produce a reward hallelujah we are also told in hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 that god is the rewarder of them who seek him diligently praise the lord we should not give up we should not give into compromising situations we should not give into temptations we should not give into trials or, situ- or, or challenges because there were Bible characters who were able to succeed. And of course, we know that the battle is not us. And why not? We are sure that we will be rewarded for being upright. The Bible remains the road. Jesus the good, sin the obstacle, and heaven the destination. Shalom, beautiful.